Hey family, it's Miss T. Lovely coming at you with my week 40 post-up update. Um, but before I get into that, <clears throat> and you guys forgive me, I don't feel well at all. But, you know, I had to come on and um, let you guys know what's going on with me. And I can't let all the comments that you guys left linger on for however long because they really, really meant a lot to me um, on the video call We Don't Plan. You know, to be honest with you guys, and I hope you guys allow me this time, um, I was laying on the couch that day. And, you know, I really, you know, they say that your life flashes before your eyes when before you pass away. Now granted, of course, I wasn't passing no one, but you know, I'm a type of person, I'm very much a thinker. And um, sometimes I believe that God allows certain things uh, to, for you to recollect on, just to remind you where you are. And you know, I've been through a lot, y'all. And see, I use everything that I've been through as a testimony. I don't use it as a crutch to be in a place of feeling sorry for myself or despair. You know, um, I've come a long way. You know, I was once sick for three years of my life and doctors couldn't find out what was wrong with me until I, I was put through so many things and, and tests to find out, you know, all I had was a, an infected, uh, Affected, infected gallbladder um, and they thought I had a, a host of other things that I had gastritis that I had ulcers because you know I didn't have any stones present but anyway it took them three long years to find it out so I, I woke up in pain every day of my life thinking I was going to die you know no, if you had your gallbladder out if you had that pain imagine dealing with that for three years of your life and doctors not being able to pinpoint what it is even specialists but anyway, I said I'd like to say that, you know, things that recently happened in my life with people and people I've helped and been there for and um, that have hurt me, I, I just can't help but think about these things and a host of other stuff just flew past me. I'm like, I got through all of that. I didn't plan for that to happen to me. And like a lot of you said, you know, a lot of you posted, you know, and, you know, uh, about the deaths of your loved ones and my heart goes out to you and about murder about sickness illness and there's so many things that we could say you know that we just we don't plan for we don't expect to happen to us and you know just the fact that you guys appreciated that I put it out there and you understood there were a few that didn't get it but that's okay 99.999 percent of you get it and you know Miss T Lovely is not always going to come on here and be because <laughs> it's not life ain't like that and I refuse to be fake and phony and tell you guys I'm heavy and heavy and heavy and heavy and heavy when I'm not or if I'm feeling the thing and you know I'm passionate about whatever I put out here and about whatever's going on in my life and I'm gonna be real because I have to look back at these videos first I go back sometimes I look at the videos and they are the things that they sometimes get me off my butt, you know, and they keep me going. You know, right now, um, and that's this, I'm getting to my update now. So, but thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, every single one of you who, who like I said, added to it and, and you, you got it. Because I, I really do sometimes wonder about the things I put out here. I'm like, did they get that? Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking, I finished my, you know. But God, if God sent a word, and if he uses a person, those who that it's needed for and, and meant for will get it. Just pair point blank. Anyway, um, as for myself, um, I've been very sick all week, and I still am not 100%. I'm still have some pain, and basically all it is is Mother Nature. But with the band, and I talked about this before, your cycles aren't the same. First of all, you're going to see some fluctuation, especially in the beginning. Um, a lot of us see it for a long time with other surgeries and with just even with the band. Um, until your body levels out, your hormones are out of whack, just period, point blank. So it will change up your cycles. And for me, I guess I talked about this before with the band, the stoma, which is your stomach, swells over the band that much more. And mine swelled so much this, this last, this time, 
It still is as long as I'm taking deep breaths now, y'all. Um, to the point where, and I am, for those of y'all say liquids, I, trust me, that was the first thing on my mind. That's the first thing I did. But um, it swelled so tight to the point where I, I was scared that it was going to pop or something or something was going to squeeze into me. I was afraid, y'all. And um, I had the, the, the symptoms of PMS times a thousand. So I had the migraines, the nauseousness, the... Um, cramps but and then to have that pain you know it felt like somebody was doing this and wouldn't let go I mean I'm telling you you see this it was horrible um, and it subsided a little bit you know my the migraine is gone all that and you know I am going to rest so you guys don't feel the need to tell me you know Misty Lovely rested out I don't have a choice I have to hit the gym today because it's nearing the end of my semester and um we have three days that we can miss out of the whole semester and coincidentally I took my one uh, Monday so I gotta go in today I'm not a person that does missing very well um, so as far as my weight goes I can't give you guys in a real number because I've been fluctuating so much because I haven't been able to get my water down it's my band it's just so I'm sore you know I'm swollen you know, even with food, like on, on Easter, I cooked and I barely did that. Somebody, you know, my husband was like, you need to sit down, sit down. <laughs> so um, anyway, I won't um, drag this on. I just had to come on and let you guys know what's going on with me. So Misty Lovely is resting it out. I will not do too much and I'll be able to give you guys a um, exact number the next time I am on. But I am taking some time to take care of Miss T. Um, I need to. Um, so I'm doing my best getting in what I can and you know I'm not too worried about the scale at all because like I said on last week this is a race that we will run until we go on to glory or wherever we go or whatever you believe um we will run this race you know and um you can't be discouraged be encouraged knowing that you do all you can and that's what matters okay so right now I'm going to take care of me and for those of you, like I said, who aren't aware, you know, with the band, know that this is a part of it. This is one of the things that you have to deal with that are not so pretty. It's like the ugly part of the band and uh, it can go either one way. You can be wide open and eat up everything or you can be closed wide shut like me. <laughs> so um, I'm going to take this time and rest it out. I'm going to let my coach know that I'm going to have to take it easy because he's always used to be seeing me just doing it up like nobody's business but i'm letting know miss too lovely gonna be a snail tonight so anyway i love y'all i hope you guys are having a great week and uh see you all next time love you